Brooklyn-based Amogee wants to transform the shipping industry with ammonia-powered zero-emission cargo ships. The startup secured more than $100 million in Series B1 feet, funding from investors like SK Innovations and Saudi Aramco to help scale their emissions-free technology. Joining us now is co-founder and CEO of Amogee, Sungun Wu. Uh, thank you so much for being here. First of all, um, let's just first of all kind of explain what it is you guys do, because we've talked about all kinds of different fuels over the last decade, up and coming fuels. I have to admit, ammonia is a new one for me. So how is it produced and how do you make it sort of stable enough to operate as a fuel? Yeah, first of all, thank you for having me today here. So the company Amogy basically stands for the ammonia plus energy. So we developed a technology which is converting ammonia to power. So by adopting our technology, our customers can finally start using ammonia as a fuel. But ammonia, I mean, ammonia is one of the most common materials in the world, actually. It was one of the most produced chemical in the world, which is basically used as a fertilizer. But ammonia has been discussed a lot, especially in the shipping industry, as the potential fuel because of its high energy density and availability. However, there has not been a technology converting ammonia to power efficiently and effectively. So that's the solution that this company is bringing to the market for the first time. Is this a transition that potential clients could initiate like right now with the existing fleets that they have? Yes, I mean, we are, we have already demonstrated our technology in different platforms, such as drones and tractors, and also the Class A truck very recently in January. But all these demonstrations, we basically retrofit existing uh, existing vehicle. So we are also working on the retrofit of the tugboat, converting the existing, I mean, the conventional system to our ammonia to power system. So, I mean, our technology can certainly be applied to the existing vessel to really decarbonize the powertrain. And, and just to make sure we're understanding this correctly, um, ammonia is considered renewable. What makes it renewable in a way that, for example, petroleum is not? Yeah, that's a really good question. So ammonia is NH3, so it does not have any carbon molecule inside. So when converting ammonia to power, simply there's no carbon emission coming out of it. That's why the ammonia is highly, uh, really highlighted in industry like the shipping as a renewable fuel. But again, conversion of the ammonia to power has been very difficult, which we have made it easy to using our technology. I was never great at science, but I love it, which is probably why I do this. Um, so when you think about the cost savings that you're speaking and having conversations with, with these companies about, what, what kind of cost savings would they see if they were able to make a switch or a transition? Yeah, that's a really good question. So, of course, our technology in the beginning will likely be more expensive compared to the conventional technologies. However, we have really clear path to reducing the cost dramatically over the course of the 10 years. So, for example, in 2023, which is seven years from now, we are expecting the cost of our system to be compatible with the cost of the conventional and the propulsion systems used in the very time vessels. Um, I want to dig into where you're getting funding a little bit because uh, Aramco definitely caught our eye um, as one of your sources of funding. And I wonder when you're, you know, it, talking to them and to the other companies that are funding you guys, is it, are you seen as sort of a bridge? Is it, uh, is it an investment on their part as a sort of hedge against a time when we are not relying so heavily on petroleum-based products? Yeah, I mean, Aramco in particular, and Aramco is actually the very first company produced the blue ammonia, which is the low carbon ammonia and exported to Japan. So they are, I mean, our investor Aramco is pretty serious about the energy transition and making it happen using ammonia as an energy carrier, which aligns with our vision of using ammonia for multiple heavy industry and heavy transportation use cases, which is the same for the lead investor SK Innovation. They're also oil and gas based company, but they are putting a lot of investment for transitioning to renewable fuels, including ammonia, which aligns well with our vision and the mission. And so how long does the conversion take so that the what was previously ammonia is, is now usable in the different capacities that you envision it being scaled up for in the future? Yeah, I mean, ammonia itself, we essentially use the existing ammonia, meaning the fertilizer ammonia as a fuel, not as a fertilizer, but the conversion itself, ammonia to power, uh, if you go a little bit detail of the technology part, we use the fuel cell technology, hydrogen fuel cell technology. So within our integrated power system, we convert ammonia to hydrogen 
and the hydrogen gets converted to power almost immediately. This is really fascinating stuff. Uh, Sung Woon. Uh, Sung Hoon Woo joining us here today, uh, CEO and co-founder of Amogee. Uh, I'm just absolutely fascinated by some of the mm -hmm. technology and science that you've been able to move forward. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it.